We are headed to the Appleton Beer Factory where they're going to share a wonderful pasta salad recipe. Take a look. Hi, I'm Leah Fogel from the Appleton Beer Factory, and today we're going to make for you our tomato basil mozzarella pasta salad. So it's pretty simple, and here we go. We're going to start with fresh tomatoes. Um, I like to use a variety. It gives the salad more interest, and certainly heirloom tomatoes are great if they're available for you. So first thing we're going to do is just dice these up. Have fun with it. Everything doesn't have to be the same size. You want some interest in your salad. So uh, it's more interesting if you have more shapes and variety. There's also uh, great knives out there. A lot of people, uh, if you don't sharpen your knives regularly, um, cutting tomatoes can be kind of a challenge. So a nice thing uh, to get is a tomato knife, um, which is serrated and it has a nice little uh, sh fine tooth on it, so it's easier to dice your tomatoes nicely. Okay, so for the dressing, we're going to use uh, sun-dried tomatoes in oil, but we drain them, or otherwise your dressing will be really oily, and you're going to put those in. And then you are going to use red wine vinegar, two tablespoons, and garlic, a couple of cloves, a teaspoon of capers. Capers add a really nice uh, briny saltiness to it, uh, definitely a nice interesting flavor. And then you're going to put in your uh, fresh ground pepper and kosher salt. I definitely prefer kosher salt. It has a milder flavor to it. The olive oil, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take that piece out of your food processor first. Squeeze it in until you get a nice consistency. Take a peek and see how that looks. Oh, not too bad. I'm going to add a little more olive oil. You want enough moisture so that it's going to distribute nicely throughout your salad and not, not get dry. So again, really easy. We're going to put in our, all of our diced tomatoes. I have a half pound of pasta. You can use any that you prefer, any shape that you prefer. Um, something that has some texture to it is nice. If you see this has that nice um, ribbing in it so that it holds on to the dressing. We're going to put in fresh mozzarella, which here at the Appleton Beer Factory we make in-house. black olives. I prefer a Kalamata olive, but it doesn't have to be Kalamata. You can use regular black olives. Um, some more of the sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, nice dice in there. And now I'm going to toss it with my dressing. going to get all of it that I can out. This dressing is great. It's, it's really good to use. You could use it on a salad. Um, you could also use it to um, complement a nice you know, steak or chicken. It would be great as a marinade as well. It, it just has a great flavor to it. I'm going to add a julienne of our basil here or chiffonade, you could call it. And then a cup of, or a, a cup of freshly grated Parmesan. Um, it's really great if you can take the time to grate that yourself. You're gonna benefit from the boost in flavor. We're just gonna toss that up. 
get everything well distributed. If you make this ahead of time, uh, if you want to take it, you know, like I said, to a cookout or something, you can go all the way through, but just don't add that fresh Parmesan and uh, basil until you get there and then toss it just before you're going to serve it because that's the, it's the only piece you want to hold. And there you go. A beautiful tomato and fresh mozzarella pasta salad. Great way to show off the, uh, the treasures of the summer with our fresh tomatoes. Come and see us at the Appleton Beer Factory and give it a try.